Today, our figurative language is metaphors. A metaphor is a figure of speech in which things are compared by stating that one thing is another. So instead of comparing it and using like or as, like similes, you just say it is something. The clouds are cotton balls in the sky. So I'm comparing the clouds to cotton balls. I'm not using like or as, I'm just saying they are cotton balls. But we know they're not really cotton balls from when we studied weather. So again, a metaphor is a figure of speech in which a word or phrase that ordinarily designates one thing is used to designate another, thus making an implicit comparison, as in a sea of troubles, or all the world's a stage. So you're comparing the sea to being troubles and the world a stage. So let's look at this poem and see if we can highlight the metaphors. My mum. My mum is a general. She stalks through the house telling me what to do. She then sleeps throughout the night, but when she wakes up, her metal's clanking, stars shining, and roars us to attention. She barks orders as she charges through the house. Lisa do the dishes, Lisa clean your room, then crawls back to her bedroom while we, her dutiful soldiers, carry out her orders. I tried my best British accent because this is a British poem. So they're comparing the mom to a general. She's not really a general, but they're making her seem like it. Um, because they orders, she barks orders. So you could say they're now comparing her to a dog barking or a lion roaring us to attention. Um, and then the children are her dutif dutiful soldiers. So that, that whole poem is a metaphor comparing their mom to a general. But there are some other things you might have noticed, some other figurative language, like clanking is onomatopoeia. Now, let's see her talk about her husband using metaphors. His teeth are white pearls, so comparing his teeth to pearls. He is an Einstein, comparing him to Einstein. His eyes are sparkling diamonds, so comparing his eyes to diamonds. He is a pillar of strength, so comparing him to a pillar. A pillar is something that might be outside of a house, like in the front. It's a big column that holds up the house. His hair is a thick mop, so comparing his hair to a mop. And his smile is the sunshine that brightens my days, so comparing to his sun smile to sunshine. So now let's see if that really was what he looked like. He might look like this. But when you're using figurative language, you're not saying that it actually his hair is a mop. You're just comparing it to what a mop might his hair looking like maybe closely resembling a mop or his eyes sparkling that they're not actually diamonds or his his smile is very bright and brightens her days, but it is not actual sun. So now let's try and see if you can find the metaphors on this page. We're going to highlight them. I worked so hard during the day that I became a couch potato at night. So comparing I to a couch potato. Since the children grew up near a lake, they were fish in the water. So comparing the children to fish. The small boat was a ping pong ball bouncing on the waves. Comparing the boat to a ping pong ball. The car is a dinosaur. It's time to get a new one. Comparing the car to a dinosaur. Basically, they're saying that the car is very old. Not actually a dinosaur, but it's old like a dinosaur. The toddler was clinging, was a clinging vine near his mother. So comparing the toddler to a clinging vine. So making you imagine that the toddler is hanging all over his mother. And you can imagine the small boat bouncing on the waves, kind of like a bing, ping pong ball bounces. Um, and you know, I'm sure you know what a couch potato is like. Someone who just sits on the couch potato and, couch and doesn't move. And the children are comparing the children to fish because they must be very good at swimming. Let's see if on this page you can find the metaphors and you can under explain what they mean. So pause the video and see if you can find them and then come back for the answers. So now you have your answers. Let's see if you're right. I slept like a dog in my new bed. Slept like a log. Comparing 
the person to a log? Yes, but they're using like. So this is not a metaphor. It is a simile. My dad is a teddy bear. Oh, that is a metaphor, comparing the dad to a teddy bear. So you can imagine the dad being like just warm and comforting and <clears throat> like huggable. Sleeping on my new mattress is so comfortable that it is like sleeping on a cloud. Again, this is using like. It is comparing two things, but it's using like. So it, this is another simile. Julie is as thin as a rail. So that is a metaphor comparing, saying um, like a railing. She's very thin. The teacher yelled, this class is a three ring circus. Also a metaphor, meaning comparing the class to a circus. I mean, probably everything's going crazy that day. No one invites him to parties because they say that when it comes to having fun, he is a wet blanket. So they're comparing him to a wet blanket. That's the metaphor, meaning he's like no fun at a party. He's just like limp and ugh, not fun to hang around. So those were some metaphors that you learned today, and you will have also some practice to do. And again, remember to save or write down the metaphors you make. And there's also a play that you can read or act out with your family with some fun metaphors. It's a news program, so it should be really fun. Um, I hope you enjoy this and see you on the next figurative language video.